on the second day of the Kampala Defense and Security Expo, high-ranking military officials from countries including Egypt, Kenya, China, Russia, France, DR Congo, South Sudan and Rwanda were all in attendance. In his presentation on the impact of a multipolar world on Africa's security posture, General Mohoz Kanairugaba discussed the historical challenges Africa faced due to European colonial influence. General Mohoz Kanairugaba said that it is crucial for African nations to unite to strengthen our position on the global stage. Decolonization took place in a bipolar world. In fact, without the rise of the Soviet Union and China, in the early and mid 20th century, Africa would have had greater difficulty in shackling herself from colonialism. So having international power dispersed amongst non-Western or non-European countries is definitely an advantage for Africa. Africa's problems, colonization, slavery, so forth, occurred when global power was concentrated in only one part of the world. So historically, a bipolar or multipolar world with power being held by Asian, Euro-Asian, Euro and maybe one day even African powers was a very good thing for Africa. One result was our independence. In a panel discussion on multipolarity, former Inspector General of Police, General Kale Kaihura, echoed similar sentiments about the need for African unity. Uh, I think I'm free to say what I want. I will not, I will not uh, be attributed to the UPDF government. I'm now a free, a free agent. Yes, China has always stood by Africa. The, the socialist camp has, you said it actually again in your presentation, CDF, a disclaimer. Uh, you said it here, that had it not been for the socialist camp, uh, Africa would not have been free. Even today. The Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs, Jacob Obothoboth, says Uganda is gradually positioning itself as a significant military power on the global stage. We are bas basically saying what we are doing right now is the best we could do, but we need to do more. So research and de development is going to guide the development of more military equipment, more items that we need in the defense industry, so that we buy from here. We are saving a lot of billions of shillings from having our MRO, our helicopters being overhauled from here. Despite representing 54 of the 193 UN member states and 17% of the world's population, Africa remains the only region without a permanent seat on the UN Security Council and continues to struggle with conflicts that hinder its influence on global affairs. Diano Olwen-Peters, UBC News in Kampala.